Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at how to find out the derivative of hyperbolic functions. So we have seen derivatives of trigonometric functions. As part of that, we also have seen derivative of inverse trigonometric functions in the last session. In this session, we will see how to find out the derivative of hyperbolic functions, which is very, very simple because we know sin hx is equal to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 and cos hx equal to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Not only that, we know that derivative of e power x is nothing but e power x only. So that's easy. So it's very easy to prove them. Derivative of e power x is e power x. So let's go ahead now and try to find out the derivative of sin hx. First that, I will write down what is sin hx. Sin hx is equal to y equal to e power x minus e power minus x by 2. So if you do dy by dx, dy by dx of this is equal to d by dx of e power x minus e power minus x by 2. Now we know that if you have a function which is addition or subtraction of two different functions which can be differentiated, then you know that you can do them separately. So can I say off into d by dx into e power x minus half into d by dx of e power minus x. This is equal to derivative of e power x is e power x only. So I will have e power x by 2 minus 1 by 2 into derivative of e power minus x is e power minus x. Then you know that minus x you have taken as a variable. So chain rule you have to apply. You will have minus x derivative is minus 1 which is equal to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. That is nothing but equal to cos hx. So derivative of sin hx is equal to cos hx. Similarly, we can prove that derivative of cos hx is sin hx. Can you go ahead and try that? We know that y equal to sin hx, derivative of sin hx is cos hx because we have taken sin hx and we have found the derivative of that. Simple, e power x minus e power minus x by 2. e power x will be e power x only, but e power minus x will be minus of e power minus x. Similarly, you can see that derivative of cos hx is sin hx. Sin hx. I leave it to you. You can do that. Now let's go to derivative of tan hx and see how to solve that. Derivative of tan hx. So let me erase this and say tan hx. This is what we are interested in. Okay. We are interested in derivative of tan hx. Okay. Now we can do this in two ways. One, we can directly substitute the value of tan hx as e power x minus e power minus x by e power x plus e power minus x. Then you can do u by v formula and you can do that. Another way is we can write this as sin hx by cos hx. We can write tan hx as sin hx by cos hx. Now you have u, you have v. You are in the u by v formula. So you know u by v differentiation equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash by v square. So if we apply that, we will have, first we will have, let's find, we know that v, v is nothing but cos hx multiplied with, what we are doing now, we are doing dy by dx, dy by dx equal to cos hx, derivative of sin hx, we know is cos hx again, minus u, u is sin hx, and multiply that with derivative of cos hx, that is again sin hx. Divided by, we have cos h square x. 
this is equal to cos h square x minus sin h square x divided by cos h square x. But you know cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to 1. How we know that? It's like cos square x plus sin square x equal to 1. Similarly, we know that cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to 1. You want to try it out. Take cos hx as e power x plus e power minus x by 2 and take sin hx as e power x minus e power x minus e power minus x by 2. When you do cos h square x minus sin h square x, you will find that it is equal to 1. So this is 1 by cos h square x which is equal to secant h square x. So that's the derivative of tan hx. Now let's go to the next one. We have to find out the derivative of secant hx. We know that dy by dx equal to derivative of secant hx. Now, again we can do this in two ways. One, you can substitute secant hx from here and you can simplify that. Or I can write it as dy dx of 1 by cos hx. Because we know how to find out the if you want to find out the reciprocal derivative of reciprocal of a function, you know what is the formula. The formula is minus 1 by f of x square multiplied with f dash x, right? So what is the formula? The formula is, let me write it down here, d by dx of 1 by f of x equal to minus f dash x by f of x whole square. This we know. So same formula will be applying. So what we will have now? d by dx of 1 by cos hx equal to minus 1 by minus 1 by cos h square x and multiply that with derivative of cos hx. What is derivative of cos hx? We know derivative of cos hx is sin hx. So it will become minus of sin hx by cos h square x which is nothing but equal to minus of secant hx multiplied by tan h of x. Now what I want you to do? Try in the similar lines. Can you find out cosecant hx? Because you can write cosecant hx as 1 by sin hx. Once you got 1 by sin hx, this becomes minus 1 by sin h square x d by dx of sin hx. That is minus of cos hx by sin h square x. That should give you minus cosecant hx and cot hx. I want you to try this out. Let's go to the last one. How to find out the derivative of cos cot hx. That also how will we do? We will take it as 1 by tan and we will do that. But anyway I will show it to you. Let's find out the derivative of cot hx. For that again you can do. You can take the values in terms of e power x and you can differentiate them. Because you know the differentiation of e power x. Otherwise you can do like what I am doing. What I am doing? I am saying cot hx is nothing but equal to 1 by tan h of x. There is a gap between them. Even I don't maintain. Please maintain that. Now what is dy by dx? dy by dx is same formula 1 by f of x. So that's equal to minus of f dash x. So I have to do d by dx of tan hx divided by tan h whole square x. This is equal to, what is the derivative of tan hx? That's equal to secant h square x divided by, we have tan h whole square x. If you simplify this, you will have minus cosecant h square x. How will we get this? Minus 1 by cos square my sin square by cos square. So that is minus 1 by sin square. That is 
minus cosecant h square x. So that is how we can find out the derivative of all hyperbolic functions. In the next session, let us see how to find out the derivative of inverse hyperbolic functions. We will just try to spend little bit of time because we do not see much of the problems in that, but we will just put them as a formality. So I will catch you in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.